Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And I just thought I would start out this lesson by showing what I did on 10, 11, and 12. The lesson was 10, and I just kept going on 10, 11, and 12, and just linked it all together. I find that just very satisfying for me, to just, once I start a pattern, just link them all together. Um, so far this year, I didn't even finish this one. I probably will finish that, but you can see I... Um, but now we're ready for 13, 14, and 15th of January. And feeling a little blue in January is normal. And um, so I thought, ooh, should I use blue? But um, we're going to do two tangles today. Crease by, um, oh my goodness, I'm going to remember, Sam Taylor. I had to look up my phone. Sam Taylor, and I love this particular tangle because it really, Sam has a just a unique style. And so we are going to do crease. And I'm going to come in a little on my uh, book so you can see it a little better. And I'm using an uh, 01, a 5, an 01 black pen today. And then we're going to shade with a little fun color. Of course, it's going to be blue. Um, so we start out crease, and you you do it right on the edge of your of your paper. Or this time, I'm going to do it right in the corner of my book by forming a little um, pointed or upside down V, and then I'm going to aura. that V shape about halfway down that line. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to come back and aura going the other direction. And Sam Taylor immediately took her um, pencil and did a little shading so you could see what was going to happen. But I'm going to shade with my blue pencil. So I'm going to put a little blue right here in this crease. Oh, and this is crease. So I'm going to put a little blue and then I'm going to take my shading stump and I'm going to wet it in my um, odorless paint thinner and just draw it down. And then I'm just going to take my paint and just put a little bit. But So you can see how crease can be um, shade it. But I'm going to continue to draw a crease. That's where the beauty comes in with crease is you just kind of build up on these and you just keep drawing And I do like to come in here, right here, and fill this in for the drama that I like in my tangles. And this can be done in different sizes. You can make your crease smaller. And you can also round it so that it is not a point, but it's rounded. And Sam Taylor, she says this gives it a little ribbon effect. And I've done that before where I have really created a real nice rib uh, ribbon effect with this.
and this one is great mixed with other tangles also. I have done other tangles and kind of mixed this one. Of course, I like to mix a lot of tangles. But let's look back in your book, in your, in your uh, Tangle a Day calendar, and there was a few step outs, and we're going to do this step out. It's called FOF, or I call it I call it Field of Flowers, but FOF. So we're just going to do one in here along with crease. So I'm just going to make my half circle and then aura it. And then I'm going to come along the outside edge and I'm going to do a little wavy line, then dip down in. These are kind of the leaves on the on the um, flower and if you don't want to fill in all the way you can do lines in and I find this way sometimes you just don't want to fill in completely black but I do like a whole bunch of cross hatching over and it gets that just that little different effect and of course I n never have thought about staying in the lines so we'll do another crease in there and maybe another FOF here. Oh, and I come in and I do these little, just some little lines up in the petal part. And this one I decided I'd color all the way in so you could, you know, it just depends on how you're feeling. If you want to color it all the way in or if you want to just do a little um, cross hatching. My little V got a little different shape there. It got kind of a little leaf shape. And I like to rotate my, be able to rotate what I'm working on. And I'm just using my O1 pen to fill in. And sometimes that is a little um, scratchy looking and it's harder to fill in with a narrow pen for in a big black space. So you might want to come back and um, fill that in with uh, your other pen if it looks a little scratchy for you. And again, we want even when we do the curve, we want to go about halfway down and then start going the other direction for crease. But you can see this is it it's got a lot of potential. And I'm going to do the pointed crease. I really like mixing the two together. It's 
got a little organic maybe look to it. Or not, I don't know. But you know, I never know what it's going to turn out like when I start. And that's the beauty of Zentangle. You just start drying and you really, I really don't have a plan. You shouldn't have a plan of what it's going to look like when you're finished. You should just start to tangle and let your mind go. And you can see that, the, you know, I've got them going different directions and they're, and the little um, FOFs are just popping out. Um, from under the um, crease tangle. And it's just exciting. And I know what I'm going to do. This is just going to keep going and fill up this whole page. Um, who knows, I may add um, another tangle, but I doubt very much. I think I'll fill that up. I may add a, another, you know, maybe, maybe some orbs because I like to put orbs in places. So, um, to, to fill in crevices. But crease is such a wonderful, um, filler in in little spaces that you really don't need to um, you know fill in much you can see I went right over the line and you can download the little sayings on my website um, and there's a sheet that has little small ones and they, they you can cut them out and put them in your book wherever you want. These were just glued in. The book does not come with the little positive sayings in it. I have just downloaded them and glued them into my book in different places. The download is free through the month of January and then when I go into February I'll have a whole nother set of fun little um, positive sayings that you can download and uh, so don't forget to get yours early in the month. And I'm just going to fill up that little crevice right there with the circles. Now we're going to come back in here and just add our blue color. And I'm just going to add blue in my crease. in that just along that line where the crease is and I'm also going to take a um, a cool gray um, pencil and I'm going to put a little gray in here along with my blue and shade it. Oh, this was green. Well, we should see what this looks like when I'm done. There's my cool gray. We'll see what that looks like. There's no mistake in Zentangle, only opportunities. So we'll see what that looks like. Well, I jump back over to my gray pencil and I'm just blending them on top of each other and now I'm going to take my shading stump my and dip it in my odorless paint thinner yeah you can see that screen for sure
And I'm just going to come along and not put any more on. Just give it a little shade of a tint of blue along the outside edge. You can even rub back over your your blue and gray and just give that a little tint. Oh, I missed one. And then sometimes I even like to come back in with a, a little graphite. I'm just going to put a shadow here along my FOF tangle. And I'm going to blend it. out with my um, with my shading stamp and I might even come in with a little bit more um, graphite and just add I just really like um, a lot of contrast So let's see what we get when we and you can see that I'm going to have fun with these two tangles crease and FOF so enjoy the tangles for today and maybe on 14 and 15 you'll just keep going with crease. Thanks again for watching and make sure you put it on my um, uh, Facebook page. You show us your creations. That would be wonderful. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I have new videos every three days this year because I'm doing in the Tangle a Day calendar. Thanks again and have a great day.